click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends and today's topic is a problem based on convolution theorem of laplace transform problem number 5 now in previous video we have studied a subtraction between two functions and it which will gives us a single function similarly we have another function also now in this video i have placed a product between two functions so just go through this question first now in this question we are going to perform a laplace transform following signal whereas here it is not mentioned in whole question in whole statement it is not mentioned use a convolution theorem but if you go through the question statement then a convolution sign is there which means anyhow we have to perform a convolution theorem now basically the question is x of t is equals to product of t into u of t convolve with this convolution sign is given it convolve with a to the power minus 3t u of t means what first of all we have to perform a laplace transform or we have to find out a laplace transform of t into u of t and then we'll find out a laplace transform e to the power minus 3t u of t and then according to convolution theorem we'll multiply the convolution of both the functions so this is the this will be the solution now just go through the solution first now the x of t is t into u of t convolve with e to the power minus 3t a u of t so apply laplace transform on it so what you will get after applying a laplace transform applying laplace transform on both the sides what you will get laplace transform of x of t which is nothing but x of s and on this side t into u of t convolve with e to the power minus 3t u of t now according to formula of convolution theorem of laplace transform so according to convolution theorem what i am going to write x of s is nothing but a laplace transform according to convolution theorem we have to find out a laplace transform of both the functions separately and then multiply it with each other and this is our equation number so now we'll find out laplace on some both the functions separately and then we'll substitute both the values in equation number 1 so first of all we'll find out the laplace on some t into u of t the laplace on some t into u of t is basically what we are going to do there is one formula of laplace transform which was a laplace transform of i'll tell you the formula first a laplace transform of t to the power n that this formula you have studied in mathematics also which is n factorial upon s rest to n plus 1 right now here what why i have taken one upon s reason we have unit shift function and in mathematics you have chosen a t value which is greater than 0 0 that's why one upon s was there now if we use a t to the power n or you can say the frequency differentiation formula formula then you can see that n factorial upon s raised to n plus 1 will be there now here the here n value is 1 which means what you will get n factorial this n is replaced by 1 so this will be 1 factorial and it is 1 and s raised to n plus 1 this n is also replaced by 1 so this will be 1 plus 1 will be 2 so answer of laplace transform of t into u of t is 1 by s square i'll repeat here the n value is 1 that's why i have written i have replaced n value or i have substituted n by 1 so one factorial is always 1 now here also this one is n is also replaced by 1 so 1 plus 1 becomes 2 so we will have n 1 upon s square and this will be value number or you can say equation number 2 now we will find out the laplace transform of a to the power minus 3t into u of t now 
using frequency shifting theorem first of all i will take the laplace transform of u of t which is 1 by s now according to frequency shifting theorem if we are we are multiplying this any input signal with a to the power minus 3 t then of course this 3 value minus 3 value will advance the frequency which means here we have a minus 3 means frequency gets advanced if we have plus 3 then frequency get delayed so this will be our result for e to the power minus 3 t into u of t and i will consider this one as equation number 3 now substitute both the values in our equation number 1 Now, substituting equation number 2 and equation number 3 in equation number 1, then what you will get? The Laplace transform of t into u of t is 1 upon s square into Laplace transform of a to the power minus 3 to u of t was 1 upon s plus 3. Now, simply multiply s square inside the bracket, then what you will get? 1 upon s square into s plus 3 now you can stop here also otherwise simply multiply s square inside the bracket then what you will get s square into s is s cube and this will be 3 s square so as i told you you can stop here also as well as here also don't worry you will get the full marks so likewise we, are, we will solve the numericals of convolution theorem now much more important whenever the convolution question asks for phi marks then always use the properties of laplace transform that we have derived in previous videos but if the question is asked for 10 marks then try to solve that numerical using properties do not directly use property statement directly always try to solve that question properly do not use frequency any type of property in solution so that's all for now now we will study in next numericals in next videos so thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe ikeda for further more videos thank you so much